In the vast, remote regions of China's far western Xinjiang Desert, a mysterious facility has piqued the world's curiosity. Hidden within this enigmatic area, home to cutting-edge military research and development, lies a hangar so large it could easily house a Nimitz-class supercarrier with room to spare. Until recently, this intriguing hangar had remained shrouded from public view. However, in late 2022, satellite imagery unveiled the existence of this awe-inspiring structure, sparking whispers and rumors about its true purpose and whether or not the hangar heralds a new era in a technology thought to be long gone. As we explore the mysteries of advanced military aircraft, it's impossible to ignore a thrilling parallel in the virtual world. War Thunder, the epitome of comprehensive vehicle combat games. It offers over 2,000 meticulously detailed tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships, which span a century of development. Experience intense, diverse PvP battles that cater to every playstyle. More than just a game, War Thunder's 4K resolution graphics, authentic sound effects, and immersive atmosphere engage your senses. Standout features include its realistic damage model. Vehicles and crew sustain actual, specific damage as combat vehicles battle between land, sea, and air. You can join this expansive battleground for free on PC, Xbox Series X and S, PlayStation 5, and previous console generations. Embark on your War Thunder journey now. Use the link below to play for free. Register on PC using our link below for a large free bonus pack, including multiple premium vehicles, a premium account, boosters, and much more. Don't wait. Support dark footage and experience War Thunder today. Structure in the Desert In the remote and expansive western regions of China, where military research, development, and testing activities are shielded from prying western eyes, late 2022 satellite imagery unveiled an intriguing and colossal structure. Located just over five miles south of Boston Lake in the Xinjiang Autonomous Region, the gargantuan hangar, reportedly 1,150 feet long, 450 feet wide, and extremely tall, sparked curiosity and speculation. One of the largest on Earth, the secretive facility's satellite imagery shows military vehicles sporting the People's Liberation Army's signature green paint, along with a partially improved runway-like area extending around 3,000 feet to the west. Open-source intelligence analysts have begun monitoring the construction of this massive hangar since 2013, when the People's Liberation Army began building the structure southeast of Boston Lake. Though the exact construction timeline remains uncertain, available imagery indicates the structure was completed by 2015. The sheer size of the structure sparked online conversations. The facility's proximity to Milan Air Base a secret People's Liberation Army Air Force test base specializing in unmanned platforms raised further questions about the purpose of the hangar. While there are no publicly available details about the vehicle that will occupy the hangar, according to some, its dimensions strongly suggest a lighter-than-air craft. Making a comeback With their elegant lines and impressive size, Throughout history, airships have been an object of fascination, particularly for their military applications. The golden age of airships came in the early 20th century, when the German company Zeppelin, founded by Count Ferdinand von Zeppelin, introduced their iconic airships, known for their rigid frames and streamlined designs. During World War I, Zeppelins were employed as bombers and reconnaissance platforms, causing significant damage to enemy cities and infrastructure. Throughout the 1900s, airships continued to evolve, and today, the resurgence of interest in airships, fueled by technological advancements and the potential for numerous military applications, has rekindled the interest in these vehicles. The recent discovery of an immense hangar nestled in China's remote Xinjiang desert has sparked a wave of speculation that this enigmatic facility could be the home of the newest state-of-the-art unmanned airship. After thoroughly analyzing satellite images, open intelligence and warfare aficionados identified a sizable rectangular cradle on a half-mile-long apron outside the hangar, potentially a specially designed sled for moving and launching an enormous lighter-than-air craft.
21st century. Modern airships have been proposed for a wide array of uses all over the world, and the airship work at the hangar in Xinjiang may be, at least in part, focused on missile defense. An airship could provide a platform for anti-missile weapons, such as interceptors, or directed energy weapons like lasers or high-power microwave generators. These capabilities could offer a new level of protection against threats. In China's far western regions, rugged terrain can make it challenging to provide reliable surveillance coverage. However, a potential solution to this problem could be a stratospheric airship capable of offering valuable long-range radar coverage unencumbered by the region's unique landscape. Fired from a high-altitude, lighter-than-air craft, an interceptor would not have to fly as far to reach otherwise difficult threats, such as ballistic missiles in the mid-course portion of their flight outside the Earth's atmosphere. The airship's potential for low-Earth orbit operations could give China a significant advantage in any conflict. Additionally, an airship could also be a formidable platform for intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance packages, or as a communications relay node. With radars, cameras, and data intercepting sensors high above ground-based obstacles and interference, these airships could provide unparalleled reconnaissance capabilities. A pseudo-satellite communications capability could be valuable in any future high-tech conflict, where satellites would be prime targets, and it would be difficult to quickly place new ones in orbit. Some also suggest that airships may work a lower-cost method of heavy-lift cargo loads into space by the use of hybrid airships, which typically have small wings or some other form of lifting body type design. For China, a hybrid airship design could prove useful for moving large outsized payloads to remote outposts inside the mainland or on islands around the Pacific. Potential airships. The actual airship designs that China is pursuing remain shrouded in secrecy. Nonetheless, Reports indicate that the nation is currently developing two airships. A 2018 academic paper published in the Chinese Journal of Aeronautics revealed that an airship named Tianheng successfully completed tests. The Tianheng, a high-altitude, long-endurance, hail solar-powered stratospheric airship, boasts a complex design featuring multiple propellers for propulsion and flight direction control. Intended for various applications, including surveillance, communication, and early warning systems, the Tianheng is designed to operate at high altitudes of around 65,000 feet and stay aloft for extended periods, potentially up to several weeks. While the paper doesn't mention specific payloads that the Tianheng may have carried or been designed to carry, it's clear that China has high hopes for this cutting-edge airship. The same document briefly mentions a recorded 2015 test of another airship designed for stratospheric operations, the Yuan Meng, another hail airship intended to operate at high altitudes. According to the document, China began testing the Yuan Meng airship in 2015. This airship can reportedly detect threats such as stealth aircraft, cruise missiles, missile launchers, and warships from hundreds of miles away. Yuan Meng can also reportedly act as a communications relay for Chinese aircraft and drones in the event of satellite communications loss. The 2015 test was planned to last 24 hours and took place in Shilinho, Inner Mongolia, nearly 1,500 miles east of the massive hangar located in Xinjiang. While the current status of both projects remains uncertain, it is likely that one or both models are associated with the enormous airship hangar situated south of Boston Lake in China's remote Xinjiang Autonomous Region. Airship or not? Despite their enormous potential, however, airships have faced numerous technical challenges. They are lightweight and fragile, making them prone to devastating accidents. Furthermore, the limited and uncertain supply of helium complicates the production and operation of this lighter-than-air craft. At the same time, the highly flammable alternative lifting gas, hydrogen, presents a considerable safety risk. Despite the type's tumultuous past and all potential challenges, Beijing appears determined to leverage new technologies to bring the concept of airships to maturity and realize their full potential, leading many to wonder if these will be based out of the Xinjiang Desert hangar.
As such, the discovery of the hangar and China's push to develop advanced airship technology has raised concerns among global powers, as the possible military and civilian applications could alter the balance of power in the region and beyond. According to official data, the structure is listed as a meteorological facility. Still, because all surrounding facilities suggest military origin, this purpose may be a ruse to keep the public away from this hangar. Undoubtedly, the international community will continue to closely monitor the massive structure's progress, assessing the potential implications for global security, along with China's real intentions. Thank you for watching. Don't just dream about the ultra-realistic combat experience that War Thunder offers. Play it for yourself. Click the link in the description now and dive into the heart of the battlefield. Your engagement supports dark footage and means a lot to us. Click on the link below and play War Thunder today.